Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about sunglasses. I wear sunglasses every kind. We're gonna go through the five questions you should ask yourself before buying a pair of sunglasses. The first question I would ask myself is what kind of size, what kind of measurements am I looking for when I want to buy some glasses? That really depends on a lot of things. It depends on your style and a lot of different things that we're going to go through later. But you should know that in every pair of sunglasses, I've been designing sunglasses for the last five years, as you guys know, with MDV collection, which is Mariano Di Valle collection. And I've been making a lot of sunglasses, every kind. But mostly the pairs I love the most is this one made of metal, not a lot of plastic in it. But I also did this one with the plastic so it really depends on what kind of shape you want on your face it's not what kind of shape your face is it what kind of shape you want your sunglasses to be so in my occasion my in my personal opinion first of all you should invest in something like this which is a sunny's holder okay it's very cheap you can find it everywhere on every website and that keeps your sunglasses away from the dust which you know it's a thing that every time you need to clean it and then you scratch it and then you, you know after a while you need to change your lenses so first of all buy a pair of these if you're addicted to sunglasses as i am because i think a man should have a lot of sunglasses the first thing i'll go through is the sizes of the sunnies as you can see from this display here i've divided my sunnies in big shades like the weight lenses, a little bit more, you know, covering a little bit more of the face, which is kind of a little bit more VIP look, like the kind of look I don't want to show myself too much. I'm trying to hide myself. I want to be the cool guy. And exact same style, VIP look, a little bit dark, a little bit like I don't want to show anyone, but with the small lenses. It is true that you need to know what kind of shape your face is in order to get the best sunglasses to, you know, to suit your face. But I don't necessarily think and agree with the fact that not every face should wear every sunglasses. It really depends on the way you should wear. I know that I want to wear my sunglasses on a certain level of my nose so I can show my eyebrows. That's key for me. I always say to everyone, I don't want to wear my sunglasses all the way on top. Otherwise, my nose would look weird. And you know, you can see it's very kind of weird like this. But if I wear my sunglasses in the right position and I show my eyebrows, it suits my face way better. And that's for every kind of sunglasses. Look at this. If I put it way on top or my nose shape, look at this. Look weird. But if I put it all the way in the middle, not too much down because this kind of look weird. In the middle, then again, it's gonna show the eyebrows. No matter how big the sunnies are, top part is never gonna be that big. So, you know, first of all, know where you wanna put them and know what kind of sunnies, what kind of shades do you want. You want a big one, so you want a small one. In my opinion, again, a man should have at least 20 pairs of sunglasses because every occasion needs a special pair of sunglasses. And that's what we're gonna do next. Styles. Styles are very important. You need to know what kind of style you have in order to have the perfect pair of sunglasses for eyewear for you. I'm a guy that wears and rocks a lot of different styles because I design a lot of clothes. I have my own brand company, which happened to be the sponsor of today because I always show you the stuff that I design and never do sponsored videos on YouTube. So in order to have a pair of sunglasses that rocks your style, you need to know what kind of style you have and what kind of sunglasses suits with that style. Let's say you're the kind of guy that loves gypsy stuff, loose clothes, and always wears the sunnies only in the summer. These are the kind of sunnies you want to rock, the kind of light lenses. This one, classic Italian gentleman that goes to Capri with the kind of yellowish sunnies. Dark, because during the day you want to be covered by the sun. Evening, same kind of shape, very similar, but light lenses. It's very cool. You can wear these on aperitif time, inside, if you're inside the bar, inside the restaurant. It's not rude to wear sunglasses most of the time, especially in the summer. Again, if you are a uh, classy Italian man slash gypsy guy that wears that kind of clothes without the shoes and stuff in the summer. This is another very cool one. Classic yet, you know, fashionable because it's on top of the trends. And another brother of these is this one. And I mean, guys, it's so easy to, you know, just go online and check and swipe and see all the different styles that are going on right now. They're trendy right now.
You're wearing a beautiful black shirt, which is perfect with every kind of sunnies. That is not true. Now I'm wearing a classic gray, more basic than this. There's nothing. Probably gray t-shirt is the most basic thing. But yet, sunnies give me the strong look. Look at this. I'm wearing jeans, a belt, black belt, nice watch, and the sunnies. In this case, a pair of sunnies like this. I don't know if you guys can see the design closely. Can you zoom on this? Super clean, super nice, but yet very strong. I mean, this gives me, I'm doing the look with the signings here. Guys, shoes, never ever the most important character in the movie. Trousers, sometimes the top part, I'll have a lot of fun with that. But signings, when you can wear signings, if you're the type of guy that likes that, they're the main character, guys. They're gonna make the difference. So, we talked a lot about styles, but let's talk a lot about seasons. There's a lot of different seasons during the year. Now, I mean, nowadays they're gonna be less and less all the times because in the winter it's hot and in the summer it's cold, blah, blah, blah. Seasons, it's another topic that we need to go through if we talk about sunglasses. I mean, it's weird sometimes to see people with the light blue lenses in the winter. But as I said two minutes ago, sometimes it's good because it's cloudy outside and these blue lenses, is they're light and make you see better you know you don't want to go in the winter time with a dark lens like let's say this one which is very beautiful but if it's not a sunny day and i'm in december i'm never gonna wear these power lenses but still i want to wear power lenses during the winter because it makes me feel good because it completes my style because it makes me feel better man so you don't want to go to something like this which is beautiful probably for August or July because it protects you from the sun but you want to go to something like this and if it's kind of weird to have a light color on the sunnies during the winter you keep the light lenses and you go to something like this which is light lens but neutral color on the sunnies this is perfect this is shiny this is silver there's in gold there's in black there's a lot of designs out there this this is good because the lens is light it's blue ish you almost can't, I mean, I'm inside and I barely feel it, but it's a neutral color, so it doesn't feel kind of weird wearing this in December because it's yellow. I mean, you can definitely tell by the look that this is something made for the summer. So you don't want to be that kind of guy. You don't want to be like, mm, ah, that's kind of weird. You want to be like, all right, that is cool. <laughs> Okay, nice. Seasons, it's a very important thing. So you should have a part of sunnies based on the season too. So we divided the sunnies in sizes, styles, and seasons for now. Another thing that we should go through is times. And what I mean by times is what time of the day are you gonna wear your sunglasses? And you say, it depends. It depends on where I'm going to, what I'm doing, what I'm gonna do. Personally, when, let's say I'm going to the summertime, I'm going to holidays and I need to bring sunglasses with me. I would bring a pair of sunglasses that will cover me for every time of the day. So if it's early morning, the sun is probably light, it doesn't hurt my eyes, I will probably go with something light on the lenses. But during lunchtime, if I'm going out on the beach to eat or if I'm going with some friends for a weekend and we're probably gonna have lunch outside, I need something that protects my eyes. I don't wanna be the guy that's with the sun and he's always like this because his eyes are hurting. So you wanna have something dark. At the same time, you're probably gonna have an aperitif in the evening. So during the day, and we're just talking about three styles right here and you have a different pair of sunglasses and even if you have only three for a week of holidays you're gonna be the guy that oh wow this guy knows a lot about styles he has a lot of different sunglasses and you're only bringing three with you you just mix and match it depending on the day and the outfit that you're wearing occasions give me a sec occasions it's very important to choose the right pair of sunglasses depending on the occasion. Have you ever been to a wedding? Have you ever been to an elegant evening? You've seen the guy with the kind of weird pair of sunglasses which probably look like this at a wedding or something like this on a special event, like a gala or something like that. Because you really need to choose carefully the pair of sunglasses that you're gonna wear depending on your outfit, on your style, the time of the day, but also on the occasions. Let's say you're going to a wedding, which is something that I've been asked a lot of times to help people with what they should wear, with what's the rules and blah, blah, blah. And again, I always say the same thing. If it makes you feel comfortable and it makes you feel confident, it's probably gonna suit you better than anything else. But if you're wearing something, let's say a little bit too, not fancy, but a little bit too extreme, like something like this, which is beautiful. I designed this, so I'm, I'm not talking trash of my own designs, but this wants to take the tension a little bit too much in a wedding. And it's probably not the right shade. This is 
this suits the elegant stuff, but it's more for daytime or during the week or for, you know, I get off my car and go into the office with this person glasses. I look super cool and feel like Tom Ford or Mariano Di Vaglio or Beckham or whatever. But if I'm going to wedding, I probably want to wear something like this, which is metal, which is gold, which is elegant, which can be silver, it can be any color, but it's tiny, it's light, it's for a wedding. A wedding needs to be nice, it's something about, you know, like delicate, so this is delicate. It's called a flash lens, it's not reflecting 100%. You can see through, but as this flash effect, this is kind of perfect for me for a wedding. If I wanna wear something to a wedding, I'm gonna look super sharp on the edge, but still super classy. Imagine me with the super suit, with the bow tie or with the tie, with this pair of sunglasses, I mean, just perfect. So, I think we talked a little bit about the uh, different, so we said sizes, shape of your face, of course, but not only. So that doesn't mean you shouldn't wear any pair of sunglasses because I think everyone can rock every pair if you find the right sizes. And what I mean by finding the right sizes, because we said this before, but I didn't go through it perfectly. Let's say you buy a pair of sunglasses, you go there, you keep trying this and this and that, and then you try like 200 pair of sunnies and you never get to a conclusion why a pair that you don't like fits you better and the pair that you actually, you know, you're attracted to doesn't fit your face. Because, I don't know if you guys know this, but there are sizes on the glasses. That doesn't mean you can choose the size. website let's say and it says okay this is 57 18 145 18 is too small for me I'm not even gonna buy it because then I'm gonna have to return it okay and the third one is the lens width so how large is the lens let's say for example this one and is the first number on the left remember we said we have three numbers so the first one on the left it's 48 in this case, which means it's 48 millimeters and the width of this lens is 48 millimeters. Again, sometimes some brands, especially the big ones, make you choose what kind of lens you like. Uh, most of the brands don't. For example, I don't, or sometimes we do have sizes, but it depends on the store if they want to buy them or not. So. In Over 500 stores in the world have my sunglasses collection, which I'm very proud about. And I 
want to thank all of them. And also you can go on knowhowstyle.com, which is the sponsor today, as I said before, as a joke, and see the old collection because we have all the pairs since the beginning of the old collection because I keep producing them because a lot of people ask me because, you know, there's not really an old collection on Sunnies. So go there and if you like the video, click this one underneath and subscribe. I love you guys. I'll see you the next one. Ciao. Great. One take. <laughs>